Okay, so in the last video, we had a look at how to list the files in our uploaded directory. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to store uploaded files in the database. Okay, so we're not actually going to store the files themselves in the database, but just the part of the files. Okay, so that we can access them easily without having to loop over um, them inside the folder as we're doing right now. Okay, so first what we need to do is let's create a new database that we're going to store the parts in. So I'll head over to um, SQL Pro here and we're going to create a database, all right? So I'm going to come to database, add new database. Um, the name of the database will be Laravel 5 file upload. So Laravel 5 file upload. Okay, so I'll press enter and then that creates the database for us. So next what we need to do is configure our application so that it can connect to that database. So I'll scroll down here and go to my .env file here. And um, this second section here, which says DB host, we're going to configure that. So the database name is Laravel 5 file upload. And the username is root. And my password is device city. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a migration file for that table, for that database, okay? So that we can have a, a table that we're going to store our files in. So I'll say PHP artisan make migration, and it's going to um, be a create migration type. So create equal to files. So that means we're going to um, create a files table, and the migration um, file itself will be called create files table. I'll press enter and that will create the migration file. So next, let's open up our editor and see what we have there. So if I scroll all the way to um, database migrations, we should see the newly created migration file. So it's here, create user, um, sorry, not users, create files table. And it automatically created this up and down method and added in the um, schema create um, function there because we passed in um, this create flag here. So whatever you pass in as the value for the create flag is what will be as the creation table call here. So we need some extra fields here. So let's go ahead and do table and um, text, since we already have increments. So text, that will be the part of the file that we upload will be file name. Okay, so that's all we need. And in the down method here, we have schema drop. So that's already been populated for us. So let's run the migrations themselves by doing PHP artisan migrate. Now press enter and that should go ahead and um, create the migrations tables for us. Okay, so let's have a look at our database now. Now when I refresh, you should see um, four tables there. One um, is just for the migrations to keep track and the other three are the um, one of them is the new migration file that we created, which is this one. And the other two are the ones that ship with Laravel when you freshly install it. Okay. So now that we have confirmed that we have a files table there, let's create a model which we are going to use um, to work with this files table. So the model will be called uploaded file. So let's go to our console again and PHP artisan make model. So the model name will be uploaded file and I'll press enter and that will create one um, in our app directory here. So as you can see uploaded file. 